everybody. This is uh, the Cleveland State uh, Vikings di lacrosse dynasty uh, back for another episode. And uh, today's game, uh, we've got a very tough opponent coming into Cleveland. It's the Michigan Wolverines out of the Big Ten. And I was just checking out the standings uh, before I played this game, and they're actually the number third ranked team in the country. So this uh, is going to be probably our toughest matchup to date, e even uh, tougher than uh, Johns Hopkins, I would say. And uh, yeah, for, without further ado, let's uh, let's get to it. Nothing but clear skies for players and fans alike here at Providence Park. Should be a clear night. We have a bunch of new subscribers to the channel I saw, so welcome everybody that's new. And uh, we're looking forward to making this video for you guys to check out. As Cleveland State comes into this game at 5-1, uh, and one, and Michigan is undefeated at 6-0. Uh, and oh. So it should be a great matchup. Michigan in the uh, yellow jerseys and Cleveland uh, in their uh, home blacks. As, uh, Adam Sandor takes the opening face off for the Vikings. Dump off to Nicholas Yormick. You know what? I need to change my settings for this. To always be an All-American. There we go. Manages to recover. Michigan loses it. Transition opportunity now for the home team. I could tell that immediately because um, all Amer as Michigan nets the goal there. All all American is the only difficulty level that you don't get the yellow um, shot marker when you're shooting. So uh, if you don't see that, that's how you know you're on the highest difficulty level. I don't know how much it affects it anyways, though, to be honest. I mean, the goalies are generally pretty good at making saves, even if uh, the spot is covered for a second. They can usually uh, get to it anyways. The ball goes to the ground. Nicely recovered. Nice stop by Michigan's goalie there. Michigan's shot goes off the top bar. Again, it goes off the bar. Very fortunate for uh, the Vikings. He gets the ball up to Anthony Estimura, and he's able to clear it. Down to Yormick. Dumps off to Harrison Braswell. Kicks it back out. Oh yeah, poor uh, passing choice there for my, me. As even if he would have caught the pass, he would have been in the crease anyways. Gets the pass. Ball side right. Ball side left. Madman receives the pass. And knock loose at Their defense bumps it out. Stephen Riley comes away with it. Uh, Cleveland says the opportunity for a quick shot. Riley shoots. Sails high. Riley's shot goes uh, well out of bounds. And that time we got some really good ball movement. And we get the ball to Estimera in the middle. And he able to get our first goal of the day. Just a beautiful shot. And Cleveland State uh, evens it up at one apiece here. And Estimera comes away with the uh, ground ball. Streaking down. But not able to get a shot off. He kicks it to Ackerson and gives it back to Estimura. Dodging down. And he buries his second goal in a row. Some more good passing back and forth from the Vikings uh, attackman there. Estimura gets the bounce shot that time. And Cleveland State's now to a uh, two to one lead over the uh, visiting Wolverines. Michigan have some work to do Sandor here. almost uh, hit that one too far back. He's able to come away with it as he gets hounded by uh, number two, long stick on the Wolverines. Dump off to Estimura. It's a to Reed Wagoner. Coming down the middle and he gets the goal. So Cleveland State responds to the initial Wolverine goal in a big way with three 
very quick goals. Another skip shot off the ground. And it's a two goal lead now for Cleveland State. One gets the feeling that the visitors have been a bit complacent here. They really should Sandor be wins it again. Play resumes. We're underway again here at Providence Park. Find it open Harrison Braswell. And he gets he it on the board. Braswell. Cleveland State's just uh, going on a run here. Braswell dodging past two defenders. Well, they Very good the effort there. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting different results. Michigan might want to check themselves. Yeah, despite the fact that Cleveland State is having a has been winning or has had a pretty good season to this point, this would definitely still be a uh, pretty big upset if we were able to take down the Wolverines, considering uh, how well they've been doing this season. Oh, I was unable to do much there as Michigan comes right back. I was coming over to try and help on uh, defense, but that wasn't really my assignment. It looked like number 19, which I believe is uh, Connor Wilson, who just caught out of position. And it's a 4-2 lead now for Cleveland State. Endor knocks away, and Estimer comes away with the ground ball. Gets it up to uh, Scott Ratliff on the left side. Dump off to Steven Riley. Takes a couple shots in the back, but is able to escape. Here's Estimura. Just getting hounded and not really able to get a clean shot off there. Jackson Braswell running around the back. And gets it over to D Leathers. He flies around from the back. Tries to dodge into the middle, but defense is all over him. A dump off to Price. As Cleveland State will look to move the ball now. Oh, I actually bowled over the Michigan defender there, but and then stepped in the crease. So wasn't able to finish the play, but pretty nice effort from uh, D Leathers there. 15. 15 with the shot and save. Loses it. As that time, my goalie almost gets caught well out of the box. Cleveland State scrambles to get back on defense. Leans in. Nothing there. So I try and poke it out. Rips it in. That's gone. Michigan uh, lets a shot fly from deep. Bukovic receives the ball. Oh, quick thinking. Koopman with the save. It's Koopman circles around trying to find somebody to clear it to. Gets it up to Dwayne Pickett. Gets it up to Scott Ratliff. 23. Gets into the stick of Nicholas Yormick. Dodges out to the outside and then Brings back down the, the middle. Sends it too high. Not able to convert the opportunity. A pretty decent uh, chance. Riley. Riley had a good opportunity in the front of the net, and he's not able to convert either. Braswell. Here's Braswell. The ball goes to the ground. Nice recovery. Puts it wide. And yet he sends it wide for the third straight shot. Cleveland State's running out of time here. Leathers shoots. Leathers gets in front, and he's not able to finish either. So some pretty good looks for the Vikings there, but. Unable to make any of them count. And they look to stop a Michigan goal in the late seconds here. Koopman comes away with it with just a couple seconds left. And he'll just fling the ball as the quarter ends. Very competitive first quarter. Cleveland State, we obviously won a very nice goal scoring streak. And uh, did give up uh, a couple to Michigan. So it's... Uh, Still a tight game. We are ready to resume play. It's 4-2 for the home team. As we are looking for uh, what would be our biggest win of the season if we're able to win this one. Sandor gets it up to Estimura. Dodges all over the place. Oh, and a nice stop by Michigan's goalie there. Thought Estimura had him for sure. With a chance. 
The ball goes to the ground, and it's turned over. Oh, and that, I'm not sure why our defense not able to pick the ball up there as Michigan comes down and makes us pay. I mean, the way that thing was ricocheting, you would have thought one of our defenders or goalie would have been able to scoop it up. But it was not to be. Michigan gets the goal. And it's just a one-goal lead now for Cleveland State. Wins it for the home team. Here's Anthony Estimura. Kicking it over to Matt Newfelt. Long stick. And a shot. Too wide on that shot. Newfelt sends it wide. Has time. Michigan's goalie is just really playing outstanding as he stops a point blank shot there. Joseph. Shoots. The shot is off target. Wolves ball. Shot goes off the side of the goal there. Steps in and shoots. Whoa, what a shot from Michigan. That was an absolute sniper. And soon. Yeah, not much to do about that one. Just a really great shot. Super deep. Cleveland State can't do anything about it, and it's all evened up now at four apiece. Four cinches it, and the home team goes straight on attack. Cleveland State needs to get back to that ball movement they had going on in the first quarter. Winds up, shoots. As long as it gets to Rask and sends it out of bounds. Behind that to D Leathers to Braswell. Back to D Leathers. Here's Braswell. Bringing it out. Cleveland State just slows it down, trying to find an open man. And finally we do. I'm not sure who it was that scored that, but it took us a while to find a good shot. We did finally get it off. Cleveland State gets the lead back after working it for an extended period of time. I think it's time for the visitors to try a different tactic here. They're losing too much possession at the X. That's going to have an impact in the score. Go back to the 3 1 2. We've been using the auto offense. You can win face offs. But uh, Michigan's defense is really sticking with us, making it really difficult. So I feel like there's probably a better uh, set to use. Gets it up to Connor Wilson, who gets it to Baron McElvain. Trying to get this cleared for the Vikings, and he will clear it. Coming down the right side. Here's Jackson Braswell. Oh, the defender overplays. Braswell comes down the middle and makes him pay for that mistake. The way our uh, attack's been playing this year, we've had a bunch of fast guys. So if the defense cheats a little bit, as you can see, it's just able to kind of leave him in the dust there and then take it back right at the net. Who will come up with this face so Cleveland State now with a two goal advantage after that one. About two minutes left before halftime. Sandor wins another face off. He is just dominating. McIlvain gets it up to Wagner. Comes down. They had a pretty good look at it, but the shot goes wide. That time Michigan just uh, knocked the ball out of bounds. And then we'll get the ball back. Oh, I got very fortunate there as I uh, gambled and tried to throw a body check and missed. I 
misses the mark with that shot. I was able to affect the shooter that time by throwing the nice body check. Kind of hang out in front of the net. To be able to kind of harass them really can make scoring a lot tougher for the offense in this game, I've noticed. And Michigan just maybe a little flustered there with all the body checks. They throw the ball clear down to the other end of the field. D Leathers will have it on the side. It's pretty uh, getting double teamed. We'll circle back around. Dumps it off to Cade Ferris. Behind the net to Braswell. Here's Yormick. Gets the ball knocked away or comes away with it. Again knocked away and comes away with it. Brandon Price around the top. Down the middle. Dodge. Oh, what an effort by Price. As he just dodged away expertly from the defense. Just a very nice sequence there for the Cleveland State offense. It just weaves his way through the defense. Awesome, uh, Set awesome play. For the it's seven, four for the home team. The home team wins and he the comes away with the ground ball step. as well. Gets it to Yormick. Don't know if he, but it looked like he may have done a behind the back shot there. His deal others looks to dodge down the middle, but can't find any uh, help. Riley. Kick it over to Riley. It it he gets just bodied. Come up with it. Green ball. And Michigan comes up with it. One. Side right. Has a look. Oh, and there was not much I could do there as I thought I had pretty good defense on the attack man. Checking him. But he shot through the check. And he gets the call. Just 11 Every seconds left uh, before halftime. And cuts our uh, lead to just two now. Nice win on the face so, off. Sandor wins it. Stephen looks on for uh, one last opportunity in the half. Here's a look. Saved by the goalie. Sounded like that one bounced off the post, actually. So we get one last good look at it. So blows traded as we head to the halfway break in this match here at Providence Park. Michigan found the back of the net a few times, but unfortunately for them, as we take a look at the stats here at halftime, it's been a pretty much a stuck a slugfest. I mean, both teams going back and forth. Good opportunities on both sides. As you see, we've been just crushing it at the faceoff, or Sandor has, I should say, uh, taking 13 faceoff wins, and Michigan's taken just one of them. But, uh, I think. Uh, we can build on this first half, hopefully, and uh, come away with a big-time win in this game. Which you think would uh, shoot us up in the rankings if we could knock off a top-five team. Estemira brings it up as Cleveland State wins the face-off yet again. Oh, Estemira swims to the middle. He found an open Braswell, but then the ball gets deflected. Young. Oh, great defense from McElliott there as he just uh, uses his body to block that, I believe. Here's Brandon Alvarez to a streaking Ackerson. Gets it to Yormick who takes a couple of sticks in the back. Back to Alvarez around the top. Shoots. Gets it to Braswell in the front, and he sends it out. Here's to Yormick, who gets absolutely demolished. Got a lot of space to shoot it there, but not able to convert. So we uh, threw a very nice check there, but... Unable to get the ball back. Just trying to play really tight defense in front of the net. Koopman makes a nice save. Here's Cade Ferris. 
Brandon Price up to Wagner. Here's D Leathers. Dodging. Oh, just couldn't quite pull up. Had a nice opportunity there, but it stepped on the line. Just went a little too far. I think I made the shooter just a little nervous there. Nervous enough. He was not able to convert that shot. Braswell rolls away from trouble. He gets it off to the uh, other Braswell. And he sends that one off the uh, post. Oh, another nice dodge there. 23 and 23 scores. And, uh, once again, we're, uh, Cleveland State attacks, able to just leave the defenders in the dust. The players it's a three-goal advantage now for the Vikings. Go again. It's eight, five. Four. Which I be the believe is the biggest lead, lead of this game. And Cleveland says just to make sure that they continue playing uh, consistently here. Because Michigan has definitely shown the ability to score quickly. Running away from trouble. Michigan's defense just really pressing up. As Cleveland State looks for the opportunity. Great pressure. Koopman, Braswell comes away with it. I saw that coming, and I still wasn't able to get it away. The ball goes to the oh, was that time D. Leathers plays great back. defense and gets the ball back for the Vikings. Great defensive play. Using his body to block the pass. Then promptly uh, Cleveland State turns it right back over. That is frustrating. But they'll play on through it. Here's a take. Sails high. Pretty good defense Close there ball. as they bump the shooter. No easy goals. Koopman chalks up a save. I would have probably uh, lost it if Michigan had made that goal. <laughs> Getting bumped, falling away from the net. With a chance. Oh, we come down and get the long stick goal there from uh, Matt Neufeld. Just uh, not taking no for an answer. So he just charges straight straight through the Wolverine defense. We get a different angle at it. Great shot. And at Cleveland State now is their biggest lead of the game. With a four goal uh, advantage at uh, 9 to 5. Sandor get, uh, knocks it back and Wagner comes away with the ground ball. Here comes Baron Mickelvane. Dodging around and Michigan just takes it away from him. Oh, I think we may have thrown a check on the back there. This might be coming back. And it definitely is. So Cleveland State will be down a man for uh, 30 seconds. He's got a little too check happy there. Yeah, Michigan it's young comes down and makes us pay. Splitting the defense. Our goalie is uh, slow to react. We are ready to resume play. It's nine six for the home. Still uh, eight ticks left in the penalty. If we can hopefully kill off. For Michigan, McIlvain, back on the field after the penalty finish. He shoots. Green ball. Outside left. Young. Drops the hammer. Yeah, Michigan is not afraid to uh, throw up some super deep shots. It seems like. As Cleveland State patiently clears it. Oh, I must have had was one too many guys over the line. Oh, God, fortunate there is Decker Curran had our defender and goalie totally out of position, but he's not able to pull up. Gets called for the uh, crease violation. Here's 
Reed Wagner, and time just runs out. I admittedly uh, lost track of the time there, but I don't know that it would have made a difference. So I was uh, pretty far down on the other end of the field, with not much time to advance it. So we'll go into the last quarter of the game with a three-goal lead. Definitely would have taken that if you told me that before this game started. They're losing too much possession at the X. That's going to have an impact in the score. Face-offs are enormous in lacrosse. Let's see and just as the announcer uh, hypes up uh, how good we've been doing a face-off, Michigan comes away with a critical one, and they come down and get the very quick goal, too. So this game is not over by any means. With a long stick goal, even. Which is tough to give up. We are set to resume. As you can it's see, nine, it's uh, getting later into the night now. Seems like a lot of our games have started in that uh, late afternoon, like 4 p.m. Uh, time slot. It typically gets um, darker like this uh, during like the last quarter of the games, I've noticed. Looks to bury. Puts it wide. Alvarez is just flying around, freestyling it there. Not able to uh, find the net. Here comes Ackerson. Swinging wide and then swinging back in. Michigan Tried to throw a short pass to uh, for them now. And it's turned over. the uh, other attackman, but... Opens up and shoots. And Threw a nice check the there. Bump Michigan's uh, attacking uh, player. And Michigan gets called for the crease violation. This is a uh, tight game, uh, folks. Cleveland State's really uh, looking for to get one more goal here to really take that uh, sizable advantage back. Two goals is not much of a cross. Here's D Leathers. Loses a defender. It was a really nice pass by D Leathers. And uh, I think uh, Attackman just got bumped there. Oh, and Cleveland State just throws it away. That really hurts. Just an unforced error there for the Vikings. It's mistakes like that that can uh, turn the tide in a game. Noseworthy almost gets bumped into the crease. High receives the ball. The ball goes to the ground. Oh man, what a shot by the Cleveland State defense there. And here comes Wilson flying down in front, and D Leathers buries it. That was a great sequence for the Vikings. D Leathers just finds the far left side of the net. Yeah, Wilson, it was tough to pull up. I almost wanted to shoot it, but I thought better of it. I thought let, let our attackmen do what they're there for. And uh, D. Leathers comes away with a uh, critical goal. Nice win on the face -off. Four. Comes out on top. Three goal lead and about three minutes left in the game now. Cleveland State will look to slow it down just a tad. Still uh, taking uh, open opportunities, of course. And here's D. Leathers again with it. Loses the defenders on the outside. He, lets it go. he had the entire defense out of position there, and he gets his second goal in a row. So he just can't keep up with the uh, attackman. I don't know if every computer defense will play this aggressively, but we've definitely been able to take advantage of the fact. Michigan's just pressing, seems like almost an extreme amount. You really just need to make one good dodge, and then you can usually have an open lane. As we get just bowled over there. Oh, Michigan comes down and that's a quick one. Which I believe that was another long stick goal. Oh, absolute beauty. It was a low to high shot. 
with a long stick, no less. That is a high degree of difficulty on that shot. So not much Cleveland State can do about that. Still in a good position with a three-goal lead. Just a bit over uh, two minutes left. Pick up if they keep winning these face-offs, and Sandor takes a critical one. Eckerson. So that's a look I won't turn down, even with a three-goal lead with this amount of time left. But we aren't able to come away with it, and Michigan can make us pay. Shot goes over the goal there. Shot Great goes goal. over the net. Side left. 15. Both up center. Curran wants it. Saved by the Grant goal. Grant Koopman uh, stops the shot. And Cleveland State will uh, clear it up to Anthony Estrema. Under two minutes to go now. Both side right. That to Matt Newfeld, who brings it back around the top. Dumps it into Ackerson. Back to Newfell over to Cade Ferris. Braswell overstepping. The ref was well and Braswell to see it goes into the, the crease there. Pay the price. So Current. not uh not the best finish in the world so far for the Vikings the last, last couple minutes. Flies over the top. We may have enough to hang on and get the big uh the upset crease. victory. Michigan turns it over and the clock really becoming a factor now. Here's Wagoner. Over to Jackson Braswell. He'll just sprint to space as Michigan's throwing the double team now. Here's Yormick. Cleveland State just running the clock out. D Leathers behind the net. There's just double teams everywhere the Vikings go. Six. As they work to try and find a shot. Or maybe just hold it. Leathers. Stick check in the attacking zone and the offense has broken Just unable down. to pick it up. Oh, it looks like we were. We'll sprint away. Maybe get one last goal here. And we net it with one second left of the game. And it would look like to be a triple team on him. The goalie is powerless. Do much to stop that one. I really was trying to find a shot there Start for that again, super long sequence, but it's tough when they're just sending a constant double team at you. Four. Sandor Six wins the off. last face off of the game. And there it is. The home team cruising home to an impressive win here. Vikings at coming Providence away with a Park, big time Michigan win. We're looking good earlier in the game, but couldn't hold it together. As they knock off the number Final three team score, in the country. 12, eight. Is what's their uh, uh Definitely uh, best win of the season so far and should propel them up in the rankings, I would imagine. You see uh, Nicholas Yormick takes uh, player of the game honors. He netted uh, two goals and uh, two assists as well. So very good good game for uh, Yormick. And, uh, pretty even uh, shot distribution. Yeah, everything fairly even except that faceoff wins. Cleveland State continues just having a lot of success getting those. And that really helps out the time of possession as well. So yeah, that will do it for uh, this week's video, guys. Big time win for the Vikings, obviously. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. I uh, believe we may be playing uh, Princeton. We'll just go uh, check real quick. Which, if it is Princeton, they were also a top five team. So, I mean, the the tough games just keep coming. But that's okay. Because I, you know, if we're going to try and get a good spot in the tournament, 
uh, at the end of the season. We need to play tough teams, make sure that we're battle tested, and um, prove our ranking as well. So we look at our uh, calendar. So I, uh, I was here. We are playing Princeton. It's going to be um, not the next episode, but two. Uh, next week we've got uh, Cornell, uh, the Big Red, and that will be an away game at their place it looks like. So yeah, uh, we've got that to look forward to in the next video as we uh, go out to, uh, I believe that's uh, upstate New York, to take on Cornell. Thanks uh, so much again for tuning in guys. Uh, love all the new subscribers that are here and uh, if you're seeing this for the first time, please uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, enjoy some of the more... Uh, content I'll be putting out and uh, have a good one